Hey guys, Chris here, and this is going to be a review on the Toscano Antico cigars. This is very similar to the um, Toscano Classico I reviewed earlier in a previous video, and um, they're actually very similar cigars. So, um, this is one of the Classicos, and this is the Antico. In comparison, straight away, different colour. And as it does imply, I'm not sure why it's focusing on my face right there, but. Uh, there we go. As you can see, it's kind of a plain band with a building on it, same colours of Italy, but um, it's not really got the Toscano name on it. So as you can see, definitely a lot darker. In terms of taste, I don't know, it's still much of a relaxation scar I find. I'm going to have to put this on the humidor in a minute. But um, yeah, it's still much equally the same thing, kind of a relaxation scar, very good to just, you know, have sitting in your mouth while you do other things, fishing, whatever some people suggest. And yes, it does have the same thing, where, um, like the Classico, you can cut this in half, and that is two one-hour long cigars. Quite small cigars, but they do last a full hour, very good, real relaxing. So, yeah. None of the bands are stuck on. By the way, each of these come individually sealed. I just unsealed these two just to, you know, show you the colours, and obviously I've got to smoke this one. Either end. It is um, pretty solid. You can see it doesn't look all too bad in there, but I never really have any problems with anything coming out until maybe like the last stage. But the wrapper itself is literally brick solid. It's um, very, very tough. A lot of people tend to chew these cigars. If you like really chewing up your cigars, this is probably the cigar for you. So um, yeah, the exact specs are 6 inches and a 38 ring gauge. And that's pretty much right in the center here where it's widest. So, I'm going to smoke from this end. You could actually smoke from either end, as I said, cut it in half, two scars. I'm also just going to get a stopwatch ready. I often forget to do this, but um, yeah, it's important I actually drop a box of matches. And I still have a stopwatch running from the last time I smoked this cigar. Oops. I don't know, it feels um, quite a little bit tighter airflow than usual. Then again, I do much prefer to smoke these in halves. So, uh, I already, I already know now, I've just signed myself up to quite the commitment. Smoking one of these is going to take you quite a long time. I don't know what it is, it's just maybe the specific, uh, specifics of the draw of it. But it feels quite tight to draw, but even just you know trying a little bit, you still get a good bit of um, hefty smoke out of it, I would say. With a strong wrapper, it's definitely a nice oily wrapper. I, you know, I'm always a big fan of these. But um, strong wrapper, you could really chew this up. This isn't, uh, you know, just like the classical. This isn't, uh, you know, pres you know, I'm not sure how to word this, but the center of attention cigar. You could have this while you're doing other things, and it's, you know, something to enjoy while you do it. Uh, it's kind of hard to get a lot of get a hold of a lot of um, Toscanos. This one is most common as well as the classical. You can buy these already pre-cut into halves, but um, I haven't seen them available in the UK in many places. Speaking of that, the price of these is £30, just under I think, so about £6 a cigar, it's a pack of five. The classical is about £5, uh, £5 a cigar, it's like um, about 25 26 for the pack of five. So in terms of everything, it's pretty similar, it's a little bit more expensive. Definitely a little bit um, a darker oily wrapper on the outside. Still just as tough. Still for the same reasons. But this one does have a little bit of a spicier taste, I would say, maybe. I 
it's um it's a really you know it, it leaves the taste you know you're you're not gonna forget this taste for a while it's um definitely a nice night taste actually never really stopped to consider it while smoking one of these there's something else in there though. It really is like, you know, you're smoking a bit of wood as well. There's definitely, um, I'm not sure if it's an okay taste. It's definitely something very woody in there. Not too much nutty, a little bit, but um, yeah, very strong wood taste. Probably oak. It's definitely not a cedary taste. I've had um, a couple halves of these sitting in humidors quite a while because, as I said, I cut them in halves, one hand stick in the humidor and have when I want it. As for these, um, yeah, the ones I've had sitting for ages, they still taste perfectly fine, not even the slightest bit cedary. As I said, it's very hard to get a taste from this. It's not too powerful. It's something you could really smoke on the side. But it does have a nice sort of um, the little bit of taste you do get. is a little, little rich packet of you know, sl slightly woody taste. It's a little bit on the... I guess the strength really is in the richness. So I will see you in the next part of this review. I will smoke a bit further down the cigar and I'll make another clip telling you about the flavours and everything then. So I'll see you in a minute. This is 20 minutes in. As you can see, quite a hefty score in terms of um, how long it's going to last. I don't know what it is. It's quite a nice looking ash to me. As I said, I find it a bit weird. These last an hour and a half, but um, generally anyway. And halves tend to only last, well, tend to last a full hour. So um, a bit unusual, but I would say this is an hour and a half to two hours. Taste-wise, there's something really, there's like a very subtle menthol in this, if I can say. Very, very subtle, but you could, um, you know the effect menthol has, you have a mint, and um, you know, it gives a very cold sensation in your mouth. It's definitely... As you puff through it, it, does give you a little bit of that. So I would say there definitely is, you know, a little bit of a mental flavor in this. You you could probably taste it, but it's more of the effects of mental. Very relaxing scar. I would say the flavors are probably picked up a little bit. There's surprisingly very little tar coming out of this, despite how heavy I'm actually, you know, puffing it, how commonly I am. Not really leaving too much time to it. But taste, yeah, it's definitely picked up a little bit in terms of a little bit of strength. It's probably angling to the medium now instead of on the light medium side. The flavour is really rich texture though. It's definitely very creamy, especially just in terms of delivery, I would say it's creamy as well. But um, it's very difficult to put a flavour on this. Still probably on the woody side. Maybe angling a little bit of the sweet peat taste in there, but not that much. Maybe a little bit of nuttiness still prevalent in there. Still predominantly a woody taste though. Tastes maybe a little bit of a lighter wood. To be honest, I can't say I've never, um, I can't say outside of this one, I've ever paid attention to these Antiquos because I generally smoke them and I enjoy them the whole way through. I don't think this one I'm tasting all throughout. It's really a uh, relaxation scar and I have it while I do other things. So um, yeah.
definitely recommend it for that purpose. Definitely rich, um, rich woody texture. I would say it's probably getting a little bit towards the, um, there's a little bit of a chewy earthy texture if that makes sense. Something quite, um, some definitely building up the richness there. So um, that's it, 20 minutes in, 23 and a half now. And uh, yeah, I'll make another clip when we're a bit further down the scar to tell you my thoughts and stuff then. So I'll see you in a minute. 45 minutes in with the cigar. Still got a long way to go, maybe half an hour. I've really been overdoing this cigar though, but uh, it's just very, very, very difficult to put down. So something I probably haven't really cleared up too much is the way Toscana works. These are machine made cigars and they are their imperfections are sort of viewed as a good thing. They are just, you know, very, very rough cigars. They're the same ones um Clint Eastwood had in the spaghetti western films, the cheroot size. And um well cheroot style I should say. And uh not sure why this isn't focusing too well. But they're all a little bit rough. They're very thick, rough wrappers that are always put on them. And um, yeah, they always tend to be very good, very consistent, even though despite, you know, different sizes, some are a little bit curved, some are slightly different shapes, sometimes the bow in the middle, sometimes that's, you know, a little bit off center. But uh, it's really part of what makes these cigars very good cigars. For um, about six pounds, they're just very, very hard to beat in value. Surprisingly a chewy nutty taste. As I said, it's very weird that these develop in taste as they go through, but it's really just, you know, the heat, the smoke burning through the tobacco. Some taste do build up. Sometimes the leaves are rolled quite roughly inside. As I said, these are very roughly machine rolled scars. And also a tar build up here. The flavour changes regardless of what age, uh, what end you smoke it from. You'll get the same thing, even if it's different one end than the other. It's kind of a chewy nutty taste, definitely a little bit creamy in there. Insanely strong on the retro hill. So I've never really noticed is um Yeah, something I noticed is a lot of people seem to say that this is quite a strong cigar. And I knew you know, I never really um I never really found a way to agree with that because the scan of scars, they're just very relaxing. You could have them in the background. They're not like a prominent taste that really takes over. As I've said many times in this review already. But uh, yeah, give what give that a retro hail and you will just about be crying. That uh, that's almost got my tears water in there. My eyes watering. I can't speak today. But yeah, it's a strong taste in your mouth. And the thing I noticed you could really over smoke these, like um without any repercussions. I mean, I've been puffing this so, so much, I've just not been able to put it down. And, you know, it's still tasting fine, no tart build up, nothing like that. Even in the end there, you can probably see the center is still quite dry. So, um, yeah, very good, very good, very little build up. So, um, that's just it. This is a 45 minute intermission in the middle, I guess. And I'll probably be near the end, if not at the last clip and the next time you see me. So I will see you in a minute. So just finishing off this scar review, an hour and a half in, probably another five minutes on this, probably get ten if I pushed it. Tar build up, starting to get a little bit there. But there's nothing coming off into my mouth. Usually you get, you know, a lot of tar in your saliva, it's kind of unpleasant. But um, none of that with this is actually working quite well. So, um, yeah, it's probably picked up the flavours, getting near the end. That's probably because, you know, all the smoke build up, embedding in leaves as you go. Unavoidable. And it's generally what causes most scars to get stronger as you go. Toscano are without a doubt one of the best Italian brands. They're the only Italian brand that I actually know of. But um, one of the best brands in general that I know of. They make the best cigar I know of to just sit back and relax. An hour and a half, I still find it a bit odd that um, each individual half is an hour. And I would definitely recommend cutting it into halves. 
a little bit more manageable time wise but you still get the same enjoyment it's a very good useful size but yeah in terms of flavors i can't really say all too much about it it's generally getting maybe a bit earthy now a little bit of spice kicking in it's just kind of rich flavors in general but um as i said with the classical it's more about the experience than the um taste it's a very good relaxing smoky experience so i'm just going to put this one out now because um i'm done right now so um thanks for watching links to where i buy most of my scarves are in the description right now is the back of shop and what is it my smoking shop and um yeah various other things and now there's also my facebook page in case you want to um, check out my posts there i post a lot of things because it's you know my facebook page for this channel i post things you don't get to see here whenever i go live because as of right now i live stream most of my reviews you get to see there as well you get a lot of content there you don't get here so i'd probably advise it and um you'll see my patreon page just in case you want to support me there so thanks everyone for watching and goodbye